Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video we are going to be doing another review. A review on MacDav's uh, mid-grade marker, the XDR with MacFrame. So let's jump right in. Um, just like the, XT, the Prime XTS, the case is uh, the same. It's the carbon fiber look. Uh, the only difference is it's a lot wider, but it's also a lot thinner. So uh, it fits nicely in your gear bag. Uh, same design, like I said, carbon fiber. It's got the MacDev logo printed on it, XDR. So you know what marker it is. Uh, it's like the Prime. It's a very nice marker case. I, uh, I really do like them. So let's jump inside to what you get. When you first open it up, barrel bag, owner's manual, Toss them off to the side, get uh, the grease, the lube, long Allen keys, which we will touch base on that in a few minutes of why long Allen keys are good. And they have the same style uh, O-rings with the O-ring chart on it, which is a very, very, very good touch. Uh, I really do like that. Uh, next, you have the actual XDR itself. You have a two-piece barrel. Um, not sure what back it is, but it's a two-piece barrel. Matches the marker. So let's jump into the marker. So uh, as you can see, unlike the Prime, uh, is back to you need tools for to take off the eyes, uh, the eye covers. Um, you need tool to uh, do the feed neck clamp uh, or you can just do it the old school way where you just twist and uh, click and there you go you have it uh, same style grips as the prime uh, which are really good the front grip as you can see is on a 90 degree instead of that 8 degree tilt forwards so they went back to the 90 degrees uh, like most markers are so and it's it's still it still fits nice in the hands though at 90 degrees uh, the way that the markers uh, designed so it fits really good uh, got the deuce trigger comes with it and power it on and the OLED uh, screen is just white uh, it's not in color but it's just white uh, LEDs uh, you can read it just fine get to the settings um, switch it set it up the way that you want to uh, it's easy uh, it's got for the ASA. It's just got the turn valve just turn it on and off uh, to gas her on and gas her off and uh, It's nice. It's it sticks out good. It fits good in the fingers. It's not a small little nub So it uh, fits really good and you can turn it on and off with uh, without a problem uh, with either your hands or wearing gloves it's uh, no issue whatsoever to turn on and off uh, and it has for the engine has an infinity based design for the engine uh, it's not the same as the infinity drive that's in the prime so they're not interchangeable uh, they are pretty close but they are not the same it's just based off of the same idea so keep that in mind that they are not interchangeable but they're relatively the same but still different in their own way. Um, the other cool feature on the marker is instead of having to worry about buying a million nine volts and making sure that you switch them up uh, before a big game, before a tournament, or whenever you go out and play, it has comes with a rechargeable battery that's got a USB-C uh, charging cable that you get with it. Uh, the charging cable does come with it. Uh, this isn't my marker. I borrowed it off of a teammate's uh, and I don't have the plug that comes with it, but the plug does come with it. Uh, you can pick it up anywhere. Uh, Walmart, gas station, dollar store, it's USB-C. Uh, so it's, uh, they're a pretty common charger nowadays. Uh, and the best part about it is, is you don't have to uh, fidget around and figure out which way it goes uh, it just stick it in and charges it and uh, I don't know if you can see but there is a hole for a cover to go over top I took the cover off 
for the video so you can see but there is a cover that goes over top of the charger port uh, to protect it uh, so and uh, then to switch it over to the mech frame all that it is is uh, two screws and that's where the long allen keys come into play uh, so I'll switch that over right now uh, it doesn't take long Honestly, it takes about 30 seconds. There's uh, really no fuss to it. It's just uh, take off the two screws and you're off to the races. So, I know me watch, uh, watching me do this, I know it's uh, riveting content, but uh, just showing you guys uh, how easy it is. So, take it off, make sure that you do not lose the screws. So you just take the electronic frame off. Uh, the only thing I did notice, but it is pretty uh, dummy proof, uh, for the electronic frame, it's got the three prongs. Uh, just have to make sure that you get those three prongs. I hope you can see it there, the three prongs there, lined up on the board where the three prongs go right along there. Uh, but they have it set up for it to line up with the holes. You can't mess it up or the frame just itself won't go on. So that's pretty easy, but that is just one thing to remember that on this grip, it does have three prongs sticking out. So be careful when you take it off to not damage those prongs. So now you got the mech frame, put that on, put the screws back in. Tighten them down. There you go. Now you're switched over to a mech gun. So uh, you have uh, or a mech marker. You got two markers and one. Now you're ready for a 10 man or any mechanical event within a matter of about 30 seconds. Uh, I struggled there with the one screw, but uh, about 30 seconds and you switched over. All you need is the top of your case. Don't leave, lose the two screws and you can do it sitting in the pits. Uh, switch it back and forth between electrical and mechanical. So that is a very nice feature You don't have to mess around with the circuit boards inside or anything It literally like you saw took the grip off put the grip back on that is it um, So it's got the regular nice trigger uh, Still has the nice grips on the back of it and then the ASA is still the turn knob the same style uh, So you can get your fingers on there with gloves on or without gloves on to turn it on and off uh, as you can see the markers in black I believe it comes in five different colors uh, don't hold me to that but it comes in five different colors uh, remember this is a new marker so who knows later on down the road they might have uh, more colors coming out and more color ways but for right now uh, they have about five I believe it is um, and uh, yeah so it's uh, got five and then uh, as you can see it comes in um, three different configurations like I uh, said uh, they sell three different configurations it comes in uh, electronic a mechanical or you can get it both with the electronic and mechanical uh, frame combination together and of course as you're wondering uh, it is three different uh, price ranges uh, I'm not going to quite quote prices uh, I'm just not going to do that on this channel, pro, uh, quote prices, because I don't want you coming back and yelling at me and saying you said it was this much and it is this much. So, uh, yeah. So, comes in three different configurations. Quite honestly, uh, spend the money. It's a mid-grade marker. Uh, so, I spend the money, get the combination of the electronic and the mech frame. Uh, so, then you have two markers in one. So, you can't beat that. Um... So make sure you go over to intensitycustoms.com, click on their MacDev uh, page on their uh, website, and you can check out all the different colors that the XDR comes in. Uh, you can get it in the three different configurations, uh, like I said. Uh, check them out, 
And uh, for everything MacDev, make sure you go to macdevpaintball.com. Uh, so uh, that is it for the review. Uh, I really do like this marker. I have shot it. It's, uh, like I said, it's really nice. Uh, and I hope you've watched the video that I did with Sean from Intensity Customs. Uh, so you guys know that when we are at events, uh, Team Nemesis, uh, we have an Intensity Customs in there uh, doing retail. Uh, and they'll have MacDav, Immortal Air, and their products as well. And uh, like he said, is that there will always be a marker or two for you to take out on the field so you can take it for a test drive. Um, so make sure you stop by and do take them out um, they are well worth the money uh, they are definitely uh, a name that needs to be on your tongue like i said uh, for the prime xts when it comes to buying markers uh, MacDev. Um, yeah they're definitely becoming a competitor there's no doubt about that uh, so make sure you check them out at macdevpaintball.com uh, and like i said also make sure you go to intensitycustoms.com and uh, yeah so that is it for the video thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you click the like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything coming out of this channel we are not done yet for the 2021 season so make sure you stay tuned for more videos coming out and the light behind me is possessed and keeps going on and off so I will talk to you guys next time